Mr. DeMille, do you mind if I say a few words? Thank you. I just want to tell you all how happy I am to be back in the studio, making a picture again. You don't know how much I've missed all of you. And I promise you I'll never desert you again. Because after Salome, we'll make another picture and another picture. You see, this is my life. It always will be. There's nothing else. Just us. And the cameras. And those wonderful people out there in the dark. All right, Mr. DeMille, I'm ready for my close-up. I distinctly remember Addison crossing you off my guest list. What are you doing here? Dear Margot, you are an unforgettable Peter Pan. You must pray it again soon. Uh, you remember Miss Caswell, don't I you? do not. How do you do? We've never met. Maybe that's why. Uh, Miss Caswell is an actress, a graduate of the Copacabana School of Dramatic Art. Ah, Eve. Good evening, Mr. DeWitt. I had no idea you two knew each other. This must be, at long last, our formal introduction. Until now, we've only met in passing. That's how you met me. In passing. Yeah. Eve, this is an old friend of Mr. DeWitt's mother, Miss Caswell, Miss Harrington. Miss Caswell, how do you do? Addison, I've been wanting you to meet Eve for the longest time. It could only have been your natural timidity that kept you from mentioning it. You've heard of her great interest in the theatre. Well, we have that in common. Then you two must have a long talk. I'm afraid Mr. DeWitt would find me boring before too long. You won't bore him, honey. You won't even get a chance to talk. Claudia, come here. You see that man? That's Max Fabian, the producer. Now, go and do yourself some good. Why do they always look like unhappy rabbits? Because that's what they are. Now, go and make him happy. Now, don't worry about your little charge. She'll be in safe hands. Please, Will, if you just tell me what this is all about. I sent a man up five years ago for murder. He was supposed to hang. But up north, they commuted it to life. Now he's free. I don't know how. Anyway, it looks like he's coming back. I still don't understand. He's a... Well, he was always wild, kind of crazy. He'll, he'll probably make trouble. But that's no concern of yours, not anymore. I'm the one who sent him up. Well, that was part of your job. That's finished now. They've got a new marshal. Won't be here till tomorrow. Seems to me I've got to stay. Anyway, I'm the same man with or without this. Well, that isn't so. I expect he'll come looking for me. Three of his old bunch are waiting at the depot. That's exactly why we ought to go. He'll just come after us. Four of them. And we'd be all alone on the prairie. We've got an hour. What's an hour? Oh, we could What's a hundred miles? We'd never be able to keep that store, Amy. They'd come after us and we'd have to run again as long as we live. No, we wouldn't. Not if they didn't know where to find us. We may be in Krems by morning. Maybe even catch a barge up to Linz. Two packs of cigarettes say Dunbar never gets out of the compound. Are you starting that again? Anybody cover? Somebody step on that crumb. We warned you, Sefton. Sure you warned me. You were going to slit the throat of that stoolie. Here's the knife to do it with. Only make sure you got the right throat. We're lucky at it. Hurry up on that trap door. What are you trying to do, gum up the works? That's right. Or would you rather see Dunbar lying out there in the mud in the morning like Manfredi and Johnson? Well, look, Sefton, I had my hands full keeping these guys from tearing you apart. I called it last time, didn't I? Are we going to stand around here and listen to him until the Germans find out where Dunbar is? The Germans know where Dunbar is. How do they know? You told them, Hoffy. Who did? You did. Are you off your rocker? Uh-huh. Fell right on my head. Sprechen Sie Deutsch? No, I don't sprechen Sie Deutsch. Miss Cooper! What? The man! The man! Good morning, ladies. I do. Why, you're Miss Cooper, I take it. It's about that John and that Pearl. Oh, them poor little lambs. To think I never hope to see them again in this world. No, oh, dear madam, if you was to know what a crown of thorns I've borne in my search for them straight chicks. Ruby, go fetch them kids. Oh, madam, I see you're looking at my hands. Would you like me to tell you the little story of left hand and right hand, the tale of good and evil? It was with this left hand that old Brother Cain struck the blow that laid his brother low. Them kids is yours? 
my own flesh and blood. Where's your missus? Uh, she run off with a drummer during prayer meeting. Where's she at? Down the river, Summers, Parkersburg, maybe a Cincinnati, one of them Sodoms of the Ohio River. She took them kids with her? Oh, heaven only knows what unholy sights and sounds them innocent little babes has heard in the dens of perdition where she dragged them. Right funny, ain't it, how they rode all the way upriver in a ten-foot John boat. Are they well, Miss Cooper? A sight better than they was. Gracious, gracious, you are a good woman, Miss Cooper. Fine. <laughs> Why, that's wonderful, Jim. <laughs> Everybody thought I had a duster? Y'all thought old Spindle Top Mo Burke and Burnett was all oil it was, didn't you? Well, I'm here to tell you it ain't, boy. It's here. And there ain't a dang thing you're gonna do about it. My well came in big, so big, big, and there's more down there, and there's bigger wells. I'm rich, baby. <laughs> I'm a rich man. I'm a rich boy. Me, I'm gonna have more money than you ever thought you could have. You and all the rest, you stinking sons of Benedicts. Leslie, you go out in the house. Take the women with you. <laughs> Jack, we're real glad you struck him. Now you go on along home. Oh, my, you sure do look pretty, Miss Leslie. You always did look pretty. Just pretty now, good enough to eat. Wait a minute, 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 w